everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today in this video we're going to be doing an after Christmas power hour clean. Want to make sure that this dining room is spotless and all of our Christmas decorations are put away because it's definitely time to clean up all of this. I pretty much neglected this room due to being so busy through the holidays, the new year, and with us constantly using this table. I literally couldn't take the time to clean because there was always something else that had to be done. For example, you've seen my kids at the table eating dinner. Well, for me to finally be able to handle this room and clean it up, I had to get Chris to step in and make dinner, which is why I was very thankful to have him do that and he had no problem at all doing it because he knew that this room needed to be taken care of. So sit back, relax, and I hope y'all get the motivation and inspiration that you need. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out, over and out again. My future needed clarity. So I could see how you wanted to introduce myself to my new followers. Hi, my name is Jessica Savage. I'm a stay-at-home working mom to three awesome kids, which are Christopher, who is 13, Alyssa, who is 10, and Dylan is 6. My husband's name is Chris. We've been married for 14 years, and we own a little farm out back with ducks, chickens, and goats. Our lives are definitely busy, but we wouldn't change anything about it. We enjoy the time we have with each other and the fun we create doing lots of DIY projects, which we're excited to announce that we've just finished renovating our daughter's room. Yes, we're so excited. So we'll be having lots and lots of new videos coming your way with lots of ideas that maybe you'd want to do to your family home. I want to thank you for being with us and being a part of our YouTube family. Your love and support means everything to us. However, for those who are just tuning in, welcome. Remember to subscribe to my channel for future weekly videos. And if you enjoy cleaning, decluttering, organization, makeovers, transformation, DIY projects, and farm animals, then you're in the right place. And again, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Well, no, I had to use a screwdriver, this little thing. <laughs> 
I don't know if y'all are the same way, but the little things mean the most to me and are the first things that I notice. Are y'all the same way? I believe it's the first thing that I see before you notice the big picture, which to me are the little details in everything. But I guess that's the artist in me as well. The details are what make the big picture and in that make you appreciate what you're working with so much more. Which explains my excitement for being able to get out the fabric snow out from that glass vase. <laughs> That was just too funny to me. <laughs> Y'all see a pack of burritos fly into the screen. <laughs> the things that my husband does while we're recording. Now mind you, it's no big deal, but I definitely got a kick out of uh, what Chris did when he did it. Like, don't mind me, I'm not here doing what I do. Then they come into the picture not thinking about what you're doing until after they did it. <laughs> well, that was Chris just being Chris for you guys. <laughs> I'm curious, but I wanted y'all's opinion on it as well. Remember how I started to decorate for Christmas and the 1st of November? Obviously that was enough time to show y'all all of the decorations because it was one and a half months away from Christmas. Well, I wanted to start decorating next week for Valentine's Day. And today is January 10th 
And then Valentine's Day is February 14th. So my question would be, is it too late to decorate and show y'all all of the goodies that I found? It's about a month away. So just let me know in the comments below. I will have my dining room table decorated and Valentine's decorated in the other two parts of my kitchen. shown y'all what I usually vacuum up from my dining room area so let me take a minute and show y'all my container so here's my vacuum after just doing this room isn't that just unbelievable this is literally what I can suck up on a daily basis from this hardwood floor and this was just half of my kitchen area I know it's hard to see whether or not we vacuum up anything when we're in the process of cleaning, but we truly do, you guys. You definitely have to see it to believe it, and this is what we vacuum up. My dog's hair, dirt, dust, food crumbs, all gathered up from this floor. Now that you see the evidence, you can say that my floor is all clean now. Hey. 
Thank you so much for watching you guys and for cleaning along with me today. If you weren't cleaning along with me, I hope you got the motivation and inspiration you needed to tackle your mess to clean up today. And I just realized that I didn't show you my ending time to this after Christmas power hour clean. <laughs> well, believe me, I was able to do it under an hour. And if I can recall, I had about two minutes and 58 seconds left to spare. So I would say that we had a successful clean. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, get this video a thumbs up before you leave, and head over to our Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, and follow us there as well. We'd love to have you guys with us and to get to know each and every one of you. And remember, if you enjoy cleaning, decluttering, organization, makeovers, transformations, DIYs, and farm animals, then you're in the right place. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other weekly videos that we have for you. So I guess I will see you again right back here with a brand new video. Bye, you guys.